Hey, what's up guys? So it's been a while since I've done a video, but school's been going on. I uh, just started my summer semester, so things are obviously getting crazy again. Uh, I'm getting prepared to head out to San Diego this week. So I haven't decided yet, but I may post a video while I'm out there. Um, if you guys are out there, be sure to hit me up and maybe we can meet up for a little bit, hang out, talk about some cars, talk about some Audis. It'd be really cool to do that. But before I head out, um, I've had the car for about seven months now, still doing great. But um, what I'd like to do is actually get in there and condition the actual leather seats. It's a fine Napa leather seats. And you know, they do recommend that you get in there and condition them you know, every couple months. Some people do it every month. I think that's a little overkill. So it's been seven months since I got the car. I think it's about time to do that. And the product that I use for my um, conditioning, and I've used it for years and I absolutely love it, is Adam's Polishes um, Leather Conditioner. It works great, smells great, and it doesn't leave that real shiny finish on your leather seats, which I hate, I can't stand it when you go in there and you clean your leather seats and it leaves that shiny finish. Really don't like it. This will give you that matte finish. So that's what I'm gonna be using today, along with a, along with a couple uh, microfiber towels that'll get the job done. If you guys wanna pick some of this stuff up, I posted a link down below in the description. It'll take you right to where you can purchase this stuff at a good price. So one of the major issues with the fine Napa leather in the S3s is these side bolsters. And you don't really see it on this side, but on this end, you see that they crease real easily. So I have read that using conditioner helps fix that issue. Um, I don't really think it's going to help that much, but we're going to go ahead and try it out and, and see what it does. And this is on the driver's side. You can see you're getting the crease. I'm very careful when I get in and out of the car, but it's just basically impossible to avoid doing this. And I always use two microfiber towels. Um, one of them, I actually use it to put the product on, and then the other one, I just use it to wipe it off. So I recommend using two towels. Um, you don't want to be drying off the uh, the seats and then actually accidentally smear the you know, leather conditioner. So I'll let that soak in a little bit and I'll go over it with my second microfiber towel just to dry it off. And I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's bringing back that matte finish. It's not shiny. And that's what I like about this stuff. And then here's what it looks like when you're finished. So you can see it's got that matte finish. It's not real shiny. All right, so there you have it. The front seat is fully conditioned. Real easy, didn't take a whole lot of time. And as you can see, it's pretty matte. There's a little bit of shine to it, but not a whole lot. I can definitely deal with it. And another thing you don't want to forget to do is the uh, armrest because that is leather so I would recommend conditioning that as well. And then another thing you gotta do is these little panels here. If you have the uh, S Sport seats in the S3, this is also covered in leather so you should probably do that as well. Um, shift boot, probably do that. That might be a little difficult to do, but we'll go ahead and do it.
right, so we're all finished and take a look at everything. You can see it's got a nice matte finish to it. Passenger seat and then your uh, armrest. All this stuff was conditioned. There's little leather sections here, leather panels, driver's seat. And then we'll move to the back. You see, it did a really good job. It smells really nice. It smells like brand new leather again. And once again, I'd highly recommend this product. And I put a link in the description to where you can purchase it. All right, so there you guys have it. Uh, all finished. It only took about, I'd say, 30 minutes to do the whole car. Um, the hell? sweating it's freaking hot as shit out here because it's humid maryland typical so again this week i'm heading out to san diego um i'll be out there for an entire week my girlfriend is actually running a marathon out there so i'm going out there to support her but if any of you guys are out there be sure to hit me up and maybe we can meet up and talk about cars or go look at your audis whatever it might be i haven't decided if i'm gonna do a video while i'm out there i might uh we'll see how that goes depends on how busy i am if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe you know i have been posting videos since i got the car back in october and uh, a lot of people seem to like it get a lot of good questions and i get to go in there and react with you guys interact with you guys and i really enjoy doing it if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like down below in fact drop two likes if you can no you can't do that don't do that just drop one thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it don't forget to reflect and never settle